Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Going Medieval. I am Nirmata and gentlemen. I'm gonna show you how to build yourself a proper, proper working basement in this game. If you don't know, food preservation is a thing. It was a thing since the very early ages of humanity and people needed to learn how to preserve food since refrigerators were not always a thing. And how do you preserve food in this game? Because, well, there's no refrigerators. You cannot cheat the game, you cannot cheese the game as you can in let's say oxygen not included or remote. That won't work over here. You actually need to use your skills and brains. Or, I don't know, get the basics of food preservation. So, what do you exactly do? You need to dig out yourself a hole. And I'm completely serious with that thing, boys. You need to dig out yourself a hole and then you want to add yourselves a bit of a staircase. So, make the staircase, let's say, over here. What you gotta do next? Well, you want to hold the control button and you want to scroll away from you, right? So as you can see, the ground around you will disappear. It's magic. No, it's fucking skills. So you're gonna lower this thing a little bit and now you are on the same level as the staircase. So what you want to do now? That's a very good question. You want to dig out yourself a few more tiles, okay? Just a few more tiles. And then you want to go back underground and you want to start to gig and you better hold on to your <laughs> mouses over here. You want to dig out another space for some more staircase. Why exactly? Well, apparently the, how the game works is that you need to be lower by two levels on the spot where the basement will begin. That probably didn't have any bloody sense than what I just said, but that's more or less how this thing works. So for example, if I would dig out myself a hole in this, in this little hill, let's say over here, I'll dig out a hole and I'll go underground. That'll be fine. There's actually a chance that this thing would work as, as, as it should. But the thing is, if you'll be building on a flat space, let's say over here, you need to actually go underground. So that means you have to make, as I said, a small entrance thingy. You want to go a little bit lower. And then you want to add uh, another staircase. Why? Because how the isolation or isolation works in this game. I know, it's, it's a bit of a weird concept, but that's how it actually works. You want to preserve your food, that's what you do. There's probably some very logical ex explanation behind this thing. There's probably something uh, that you can justify, but, well, I, I'm just showing you the quickest way to make a basement, okay? So stop complaining. But anyway, you let you guys dig out another hole and then you want to build up, let's say, like a, uh, like a door over here. And once the door will be built, like such, you need to, well, finish up the digging. And a side note, if you're wondering where exactly, when exactly you need to build the basement, you need to have the basement before summer will hit. Why exactly? Because, well, during summer the temperature is gonna rise. Normal temperature during normal summer is quite okay, but at some point you will get attacked by something called a heat wave. And it gets really spicy during that time. And just, just to give you an example how this thing exactly is gonna work, right? As you see, it's spring at the moment. It's around 15 degrees outside. So you hold the control button once again, you go on the ground. And on this, this floor over here, the floor that, where I have the door. If you're gonna go on this tile here, as you can see, the game is indicating that this room is inside and it's minus 2 degrees. I know, to the degree already, oh my god! So you don't need to dig deep, deeper, you need to dig deeper because when the heat wave will hit this there's gonna be 20 inside in this room and around 50 outside. So yeah, you really want to do that thing, okay? So you make yourself another uh, dig it out tile over here and after that, well, you go crazy with the room construction, boys! Now this is what I call a proper basement. Now don't go too crazy with the size of the room because there's a chance that everything is gonna collapse on your face and you don't want that thing to happen, okay? I stick to rooms 5x5. Five five. I heard that rooms 6x6 six six are also completely fine. But as I said, it's up to you, right? Uh, for example, you could try to make something like this over here and here and make another room next to it. Just like this. And the size of your basement just tripled itself. And it's beautiful. It's great. It's gonna take some time for you guys to actually dig out all of the space and you're gonna have lots of clay because of it. Also, there is a chance that potentially you're gonna find something more useful, such as like, let's say, iron or gold or maybe just limestone. It depends on the map, see, it's hard to say. It's not like you're gonna always find something useful. Oh, speaking of the devil, I actually found something. 
great, we've managed to actually find some limestone, which is gonna be essential if you want to build yourself a proper castle later on. And what we got underneath the, his thing? More grass. Apparently grass is capable of growing underground right now. Don't question it. And that's how the game works, man. That's how the game works. What happened to have light? I've managed to find gold over here. So you can see you can actually find some useful items. Now, you dig out yourself a cave. What you gonna do next? Uh, you need to build a floor. I know. There is high chance that your food will still decay underground in perfect condition if you won't have yourself a proper flooring. It doesn't matter if you're gonna make it out of limestone or gonna make it out of sticks or whatever. I just recommend it to make it out of wood, you know, it's the safest option. Do not, and I repeat, do not replace the walls. I have did this thing in my, like, let's play. And apparently if you're gonna replace the dirt walls with, let's say, wooden walls or walls made out of bricks, then those things will gain heat transfer. And that basically means that your basement will become useless. Once the flooring is done, don't forget that you want to make yourself a proper storage area over here, such as this. Select the storage area, clear all, and set it to accept only food. Like this thing over here. Now go back to the old uh, storage area that you have at the very beginning of the game and deselect uh, keeping food over there. From now on, your food will be completely safe. For example, this food over here will decay in one day and 21 hours okay that's that's terrifying is it well let's let's see what we can actually do with that thing so how the resources please for me you gotta go to the basement and now the foot is well underground which you look at that oh my god it's still decaying why because of the ground types and as soon as somebody is actually gonna come over here and uh, replace the dirt flooring with a proper flooring you'll be surprised how long this food can last over here oh my god it's decaying really slowly would you look at that what has happened well apparently now it's actually possible to store this food in safety now please remember that even though that there is like minus uh, degrees inside of the basement the food is still gonna de decay a little bit but it's gonna decay at a very very slow rate now what you don't want to do in the basement obviously surprise surprise it built is to build crafting stations that require heating. So, for example, a campfire is a no-go, a clean, a forger is a no-go, a kitchen is a no-go, and a brewery is a no-go. Those things will actually create heat, and heat is something that you want to, well, surprise, keep outside of your basement, okay? So keep that thing outside of your basement and you're gonna be completely fine. Sure, it's gonna require your people to work a little bit longer to get to the basement to grab themselves food and resources and other crap, but in the end, it's gonna be worth it because your food will be completely fine and you'll be able to survive the harshest of winters and the most destroying, devastating of summers. And, well, since this is game about time where England was completely destroyed, you're gonna eat that thing. And as I said, there's like some really complicated math behind how this thing works exactly. I'm not gonna go into it. There are people who are a lot smarter than me that can actually explain you why this thing works the way it does. The only thing that you need to remember is that you need to have, you need to be two levels lower than the, let's say entrance to the basement. And you need to replace the flooring. Don't replace the walls. And if you really, really need to make bigger rooms use yourself the supporting wooden beams they actually surprise work underground on the dirt walls so if you really have to build yourself bigger rooms use those and don't use any possible heat source underground and i say any and actually if you can try to keep the heat source even like further away from the entrance to the basement as well just in case because this is still in the Eral access version of the game i don't know how this thing can change in the future and i don't want later on to people to be like this does not work in the version of the game 2.50 fucking free because well reasons but anyway ladies and gentlemen i'm running too much so for now i'm gonna do this thing as of here hope you have enjoyed let me know what you think and well as i said i'll do this thing here, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the next episode. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next video.